Castries market redevelopment plans continue to take shape. Prime Minister visits with Sozal households affected by heavy rains. Town hall time with residents of Blusha. And the Prime Minister highlights the real benefits of the Constituency Development Programme. Join us as we dive into this week's installment of the Prime Minister's Weekly Diary. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney received an update early in the week on Phase 2 of the Market Redevelopment Project. The exciting first phase of the project was completed earlier this year, with 100 provision vendors moving into their new stalls. The next component of the project will see the construction of a container box park, creating an avenue for micro-enterprising and entail the construction of a viewing tower and duty-free shopping boutiques. The project is part of the government's plans to greatly improve the city and encourage the further development of village tourism. Prime Minister Shastney and Swazel Saltibus MP Honorable Bradley Felix visited the south of the island on Tuesday to assess damage caused by recent heavy rainfall. Residents took the opportunity to speak frankly with the Prime Minister about the challenges they experienced with the recent weather conditions. A full report will be done on the infrastructure needs of the affected communities that have suffered from flooding and landslides. The constituency of Miku South is on the rise with community building projects that benefit all residents. Prime Minister Chastney held a town hall in the community of Blushaw this week to speak to residents about the plans that will have a major impact on improving the standard of living, including housing projects, road rehabilitation, flood mitigation, and the improvement of playing fields and community centers. During the town hall, the residents got the opportunity to fully interact with their parliamentary rep and to ask questions from the community and the national level. COVID has reminded me that uh, Charles Dickens once expressed in his novel, A Tale of Two Cities. This was the worst of times, but it could be the best of times. This was the season of darkness, but it could also be the season of light. As global society is suffering from loss of life and economic devastation caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, Taiwan tries its utmost to become a constructive development partner for diplomatic allies and like-minded friends. On Thursday, the Prime Minister and Minister for Finance joined new ambassador for Taiwan, His Excellency Peter Shen, for a handover ceremony for the Constituency Development Program. The program is managed by the Ministry for Economic Development, and on hand was Minister Honorable Guy Joseph, Permanent Secretary Claudius Emmanuel, and the team from the CDP office. In his remarks, Prime Minister Shastri spoke about the impact of the CDP over the years, not just in terms of infrastructure, but in terms of the lives it has changed. That when we came into government this time, that we decided to take a very different path um, to the CDP um, program and basically our grant program with the uh, uh, Taiwan. And what we decided to do was to look at five years instead of on an annual basis. And by looking at it from a five-year perspective, allowed us to be a bit more ambitious in what we're doing. And therefore, we could make a commitment to significant developments. And the minister touched on two of them which is village tourism and also our sports program. And now you're all topped up on the events in the Prime Minister's Week. Stay in the know by joining us every week for the Prime Minister's Weekly Diary. Reporting for the Office of the Prime Minister, I am Nicole MacDonald.